Right, now you will tell us if you don't feel up to it, won't you? Yeah, back to work should help. Stop you churning things over. Look, I'm fine. And I would have made breakfast. First day back, we should be spoiling you. No, I just want everything to be normal again. Something easy, eh? Why don't you start off just checking the mixers and polishing the glasses? Oh, can you stand the excitement? If more folk displayed your spirit, the world would be a better place. Yeah. With adults' differences, I'll not deny it. I say I'll not deny it. You weren't above taking advantage of our Ashley's good nature. That was a long time ago, Fred. No, it weren't. But I'll give credit where it's due. I'll take you on in one of my shops. You've only got to apply. No, she won't. She's stopping here. She's a good worker. Also honest, courageous, and lovely to look at. Look, I need to go to the cellar. What be so? You've embarrassed her. No harm in that. You still look pale. It'll be all right as soon as people start talking about it. Why don't you first stay back? People want to congratulate you. Yeah, I know. Fred Elliot went on and on. Mm, you should have heard Rita Sullivan. What she would have done to those thugs who attacked you. Please look at you. Well, I hope they do. They deserve to be caught and put away. Yeah. I mean, what sort of people are they? Staking out this place, waiting for two women to be on their own. They could have killed you. And Natalie. All for the sake of a few hundred pounds. I mean, I just don't know how they live with themselves. Listen, I could hardly go into our house after Des was attacked. It, it all comes back and slaps you in the face. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I should have been more sensitive. I can't bear this anymore. Everything's my fault. No, it isn't. You did your best. You don't know what really happened. I know. You risked your life. I had to, Natalie. Don't be silly. And if there's a next time, don't put yourself in danger. It was up to me to try and stop him. No, it wasn't, Leanne. <laughs> you didn't know who they were or how many of them there were. They could have had guns. I knew that they were coming. What, you mean you heard them outside? No. I knew about the robbery before they even arrived. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I don't understand. I'm really sorry. I can't bear to keep this in any longer. I've got to tell you. I'm sorry. Tell me what? I knew that the Rovers was going to get broken into on New Year's Eve. Because I was in on the whole thing. Oh, stop crying. I'm sorry. Tell me why you did it. Because I owed money. You've got a job. You shouldn't owe anything. I got into debt and I couldn't get straight. Well, why didn't you ask Les for help, eh? Or Janice or me? Because I didn't want you to know. We're not ogres, Leanne. We wouldn't have turned our backs on you. I'm really sorry. I'll never do it again. How much was it? 500 quid. It's a lot of money. Why did you borrow it? I didn't borrow it. So what did you do with it? Oh, well, I hope it was worth it. What? What was it? Come on, what was it? Not drugs. I'm really sorry, that's me. I'm really, really sorry. You're sorry? What's the point of being sorry, Leanne? That doesn't help. I didn't know what I was doing. I have heard it all before and I don't want to hear it again. I promise I'll do anything to make it right. Oh, no, you won't. This is like turning the clock back listening to Tony. So I'm going to tell you now what I told him then. Get out of my sight. Natalie, Go please. on, get out! <laughs> 